Welcome to our tutorial about adding sketches to a drawing. First of all, let's see how this particular part was constructed. As you see, we've got construction geometry that helps to define the geometry of our part. Now let's exit the sketch. And let's go to New Drawing, make drawing from part assembly. Landscape B. In this tutorial, I'll just be using the front view. Let's click OK. Now let's go to the Sketch tab. First, I'll create a rectangle. In the Options Control area, check for construction. Let's select this line and this line. Add a collinear relation. This line. And this line, another collinear relation. This line. And shift select this one. Add another collinear relation. Now this curve. And this line. Create a tangent relation. OK. Next, I'm going to use the center line tool. I want to create a line between these two corners. Right click, select. I'm going to drop two points somewhere here. Let's use another center line now. I'm going to touch this line and create a line from the center of this line. Right click, select. Next, let's go to the annotation tab. Hide show annotations. I'm going to select this center mark. I'm going to hide it. Now I'll select this point and this curve. I'll add a concentric relation. Select this line and this point and add a coincident relation. Lastly, I'm going to select this point and this curve as well as this line. I'll create an intersection relation. Let's click OK. Let's add one more construction line here, center line. This one will be horizontal. Right click, select. When you're adding sketches and dimensions to your drawing, you may find yourself in a situation where SolidWorks gives you a message. The sketch is overdefined or asks you to make the dimensions driven, something like this, for example. Now, if I put an angular dimension right here, Okay, SolidWorks tells me that this dimension will make the sketch overdefined or unable to solve. Do I want to add it as a driven dimension instead? Well, yes. I'm going to delete this dimension and dimension our model. Let's show what happens if we opt to leave this dimension driving. What I end up with is an overdefined sketch. When I move the mouse in empty space, the sketch warnings disappear. Let's select the sketch. And let's double click on the warning. Select Diagnose. The Diagnose window gives us five solutions. It suggests that we remove this tangency. Next, to remove the horizontal relations, to remove a dimension, and a collinear relation. OK. Let's go back and remove this dimension. Accept. And the sketch is now OK. Let's apply the rest of the dimensions. We'll put an angular dimension here. We'll make it dimension driven. Next, the distance between these two points. When I move my mouse, the dimension keeps changing. When I find the point where I get the dimension I need, I right click and that locks the dimension. If I want to unlock the dimension, I can just right click again and then adjust it as needed. You relock the dimensions with another right click. Let's make it dimension driven. OK. Next, the distance between these two points. When I move my mouse, as you see, the dimension keeps changing. What I want to happen here 
I'd like this dimension to measure along this curve. I'll mouse over and then click on the curve. See how the dimension changes? I'll place it right here. Click OK. And let's place a radial dimension right here. And then we'll specify the overall width. Make it dimension driven, OK. Lastly, I'll put a radial dimension right here. And this concludes our tutorial about adding a sketch to a drawing.